So we're going to stand with our feet hip distance apart, knees nice and soft. We want to feel our big toe, little toe and heel evenly weighted on the floor and also the inside and outside of our feet as much as we can evenly weighted. Nice soft knees, find your neutral pelvis, make sure your bell is not rung forwards like mine was a bit there, make sure it's rung straight over the top of your pelvis. Shoulders nice and relaxed, listening to a conversation behind you, chin horizontal to the floor, eyes towards the horizon. Shift your weight forward onto the balls of your feet. We're going to take our hands and we're going to take them in to second position, internally rotated. As we inhale, we're going to open, and as we exhale, we're going to close. So inhale wide, exhale, close. Remember, as we're reaching out through our fingertips, we want to reach out through our fingertips. We don't want to hyperextend through this, this, the elbow. We want to make sure we've got nice soft elbows as we come back. I'm going to come back a little bit so you've got a bit better view. So shifting weight forward to begin, internally rotating. Gaze towards your horizon, press gently out through your elbows, sacrum to the floor, head to the ceiling, ready to inhale. So inhale, as you shift your weight back, you're pressing your hands back, reaching out through your fingertips. Make sure you can see them in your peripheral vision. As you exhale, coming forwards into internal rotation. Inhale, opening wide as we come back. Exhaling, shifting the weight forward as we come forwards. Inhale, widening. Exhaling, closing. And then closing our mouth and nose, pausing and slowly widening our ribs. Take your time with the widening of your ribs. Think about your pelvis, your rib cage orientation, your elbows. When you need to inhale, inhale here. And exhale, release and give them a shake off. Let's repeat that, but let's come to our internal rotation low. Little shift forward, ready to inhale and widen. Inhaling, widening to the sides, keeping your fingertips in your peripheral vision. Exhaling, drawing forwards. Inhale, widening as we shift our weight back, keeping the knees soft, our heels grounded. Exhale, forwards. One more. Inhale, pressing back. Good. Exhale, drawing forwards. Close your mouth and nose, pause, and slowly widen your ribs. Hold that rib opening. When you need to inhale, you're going to move your hands to your second position. Ready to inhale again here. So, ready. Inhale, stretching out. Make sure that our wind will winging backwards. Exhale, coming forwards. Inhale, stretching out. Remember to keep those elbows soft. Reach out through your little finger. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, forwards. Close your mouth and nose, pause, and widen your ribs. As you widen your ribs, let's take those hands out towards the sides and shake it off. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. Just a little bit of rocking using the arms to help us engage the serratus and the rib cage.